so we just started our powerpoint slide on our mobile on, on our mobile device so to go to the next slide you see you're going to click on next on our mobile device so you click on next and then the slide changes you click on preview previous it goes to the previous you click on next it goes to the next as simple as that <music>for us to eventually control powerpoint is that we are going to install a software called unified remote from a google play store on your iphone you can do that you can install that software unified remote so i'm going to search on a play store unified remotes and then you see the app here so i'm going to tap on it and I'm just going to install it right away quickly i'm going to do that quickly so let me open the app right away for you to see how it looks like so you just keep all processes okay just pretend you've installed the software later and then let's skip to this page of the app now open your web browser and then you're going to install the unified remote also for your pc okay for your you need the app on your desktop and then your pc so on your pc you search unified remote for pc and on the first link that pops up you tap on the download button and on, on the web page you just click on latest server it will just download it or you click on the download button it will download the unified remote directly on your desktop or on your machine so if I have my unified remote, I have my setup here. So I just tap on it and I run my setup on my PC. So it goes right away. I accept score terms. It installs the software right directly on my desktop device. So we successfully installed this software, the app on my on the phone and then the software on the PC. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to check if the software really installed. I'm going to look through the list of my softwares. And then over there, I see unified remotes let me scroll up a bit i see over here unified remote 3 okay so it means it's successfully installed now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the hotspot from my mobile device to that of my desktop device the mobile hotspot is my has been connected so it's as soon as my wi-fi okay my wi-fi over there that is being shown so you should connect your hotspot from your mobile device to that of your desktop for this to work so you do that right now put your hotspot on your phone and connect to your desktop after that the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to bring your mouse button down your mouse down there you see this short small array there. you see the unified remote symbol okay so you right click on this or you just click on it just click then you click on manager automatically it's going to open in your web browser and then you see that your alien is not connected we want this alien to be connected not necessarily the wan okay so for you to connect it you have to restart your server so when you restart your server you expect that your alien is connected your alien should be connected and should give you a code because your mobile hotspot has been connected to that of your desktop so if your mobile hotspot isn't connected you still see that LAN not connected then you restart your server so you see this code 192.168 whatever okay so we want to see this on our desktop device then we move on to the next stage so the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to come back to our mobile device again coming back to our mobile device again we're going to take another very important step on our mobile app so you tap on the menu button that's the three bars over there then you go you see that there is service under the remote there is service you click on service this for pop appears on the service page you're going to create a new server that will allow you to connect to your app to that the software on your pc okay so you have to collect your for you to connect your app from your software to your pc make sure that your hotspot is connected over here i disconnected my hotspot so i need to connect it back so it's going to be shown down there that my wi-fi has been connected okay so after that you just click on the plus button you see a plus near there does me sign you see servers there's a plus and then there's a does me sign so we are going to click on those plus to add a new server because it, our server is not automatically showing so you're going to fill out the details over here so i'm going to create a name let me just create a name awesome awesomeness let me make it awesomeness okay so i'm going to create a name awesomeness and then under the host or ip address i need to enter the LAN code that is shown on my desktop device okay so i need to enter this 192.168.155.201 i need to enter it on my mobile device i'm going to enter it 192.168.155.201 make sure it's the same as that on your pc else this won't work okay we are done so we just check it and then our server has been successfully started at this point you should be able to do basic controls 
for example you see the first one is basic inputs there's file manager there's keyboard let's try out the basic inputs okay you won't upgrade for now let's just keep this the action has to pay but then we want to use a free version okay so the basic input should allow us to at least control the mouse pointer on our pc he's teaching us the steps to do that so just pass your finger over your phone you will see that the mouse on your pc is moving yes so that is another feature of this app we we'll just be passing your finger you see why here that the mouse pointer on my pc is moving and i'm doing it directly on my phone not on the pc okay so i come back to this pc i tap on the green plus button okay you see there's a green plus button down there i just click on it it sends me to this up page this up page i have a list of options so there's input and then there's presentation so i'm going to tap on presentation okay when i tap on presentation it sends me to another page or another page on the app and then i see the slideshow so i'm going to tap on slideshow so when i tap on slideshow automatically slideshow should be should be added to the list of features of the app okay so you see that the slideshow last but one slideshow we need a slideshow to control our powerpoint so let's go ahead and tap on the slideshow and then this preview up here so now we can go ahead to control the powerpoint on our desktop device okay so now let's open a, a sample powerpoint on our desktop device i'm going to open one i have here so now let's go straight and then let's try the control and see if it really works so i want us to start our powerpoint presentation and you see we are controlling it on our mobile device if you've realized it okay our powerpoint slide on our mobile on, on our mobile device so to go to the next slide you see i'm going to click on next on our mobile device so you click on next and then the slide changes you click on preview previous it goes to the previous you click on next it goes to the next as simple as that you realize you are doing all this on our mobile device all this is being done not on the desktop you can see clearly i'm using my phone i'm controlling the powerpoint slide from my mobile phone okay so we can end the presentation we can start move to the next presentation so you can actually do your presentations with your mobile device okay